not only images and videos, but AI can now generate 3D models and that just by text or images. We will be using a Chinese tool called Hunian. I'll show you step by step how to use it to generate 3D models. We'll also review some AI generated 3D models. Once you're on the Hunian page, it's a Chinese tool. So obviously it's all in Chinese, but you can translate it via Google Translate. You can simply log in using your Gmail. And once you're logged in, you get 20 generations per day. There are a bunch of these samples. It's just the thing is, for the text prompt, you have to choose the Vincent 3D model. And once you're on here, you get these texture styles, like the general cartoon and the Chinese style. But we will keep it simple for now. We will keep it general for now. I'll try generating a simple 3D model of a coffee mug. But just bear in mind, the model setting and generate PR setting should be turned on. So it does take a little bit of its time, but you get these four types and from those you choose whichever one you want. I personally feel the one on the bottom right feels more fit, so I'll go with that. Once you have that, it looks something like this. And remind you, this was just from a textual prompt. Just the thing is it looks really stylized. I feel the material could have been a little bit better, but the texture seems quite okay you can also try it with different colors this is kind of fun not gonna lie and although it's a simple design with a coffee mug but once you change the colors it does give a whole feel to it it does grasp the whole object the whole model gets encompassed on the right side under this section there are two options and you can tweak them to adjust the colors. For the next one, I'll try the image to 3D section. There are some instructions for the images, as in they should be with a simple background, should not have text. The size should be 128 into 128 pixels. I personally, I'll use this image of a robot. It's a simple image. It's a simple background. There is no text, so let's see what that does. Guys, if you're into AI related stuff, do like and subscribe. And here we have it. The image is now 3D and it has copied exactly the same thing. The sharpness too is quite fascinating. Guys, it's quite ridiculous that this is the output of just an image. Now for any of your big animation or gaming projects, all you need is a sample design and with just a single image, you can turn them into working 3D models. So you can, you can try changing the colors. There's also another option where you can try generating 3D models with multiple images. But you at least need two images for that and ideally you need four images, one front, one back, one right pose and one left pose. This is another sample 3D model of the Spider-Man villain object. And I want you guys to notice in the sharpness in the details. This was from a reference image. And when I turn this into white, just notice that it captures the whole model, even captures the eyes. So let's look at another example. I feel the material separation seems quite legit. So let's look at another example. We'll try this chair table one. Again, another something that we can work with is again generated from a text or an image input. I feel the material separation seems quite legit here. The color separation with the texture seems quite where obviously you can try playing with the options, you can try generating different colors with these, you can try tweaking the right section settings. I personally feel this is about to change game design as we see it, or real world model designs. By generating any 3D model from any image, it just speeds up the whole process quite fast. So let me know what you think.